Hey everyone, Reverend Dr. Katie here. This is day four in our series this week on vibration. Just as a reminder, vibration is the sum total of the energy that you put out there into the world. And remember, whatever you put out there is what you're going to receive back. So this really is about an inward journey. It absolutely starts inside of you. Depending on external factors to raise your vibration is... Um, non-helpful. It will not yield you the high vibration that you want. So those are things we've been talking about. Go back and watch the previous videos if you have any questions about that. And today we are addressing the false belief that you can't have the vibration that you want. So let's get into that. What What is that story about? I talk to a lot of people who tell me they just can't get the vibration they want and they name everything else in the world um, that is impacting them, but they don't take responsibility for their own vibration, for their own interior state. So that's really, I think, the number one theme that has been coming through this week is you are responsible for your vibration. I am responsible for mine. And if my vibration dips down low, yeah, there might be an external situation that triggers my descent into a low vibration. It's not actually causing the low vibration. That's all an internal interior journey with me. And so there's a belief out there that I'm always going to be at a low vibration because of this, because of that, because of a situation, because of the world, because of family, because of a relationship, um, because of finances, because of childhood, because of all of this. Now, all those are important. They're all important. We have to work through all of those. I'm not saying you just discard them. What I'm saying is they're not responsible for you. Only you are responsible for you. So this is the moment, like right here, right now, for you, if you've never done it before, to just claim responsibility for your vibration. In fact, I invite you to type that into the comments, um, into the comment section below the video. Just type in, I am 100% responsible for my vibration. This is not putting any fault on yourself if your vibration is low. It is you claiming responsibility for what you're doing from this moment forward. Okay, so I invite you just to say that and then to type it in, seal it in. I am responsible, 100% responsible for my own vibration. And from this point forward, that's the attitude that you're going to take. So notice that shift. Notice absolutely the shift from other people cause me to have a low vibration to I claim responsibility for my vibration. And when you claim responsibility, that shows the universe. It shows God. It shows me that you're willing to do the work. You are willing to put in the time, uh, you're willing to put in the energy, you're willing to put in whatever you need to, to get the high vibration that you want. So what's this false belief? The false, but thank you, I love seeing that. Okay, so what's the false belief? The false belief is that you can't have the vibration that you want. And think about it, if that's what you say out in the world, or even to yourself, if you say, I'm never gonna have the vibration that I want, you are claiming a story that's entirely in your head, like 100% in your head, and that's getting in your body, it's getting in your soul, and then you put it out to the universe, and what do you receive back? You receive a vibration that you, you, know, you receive a low vibration because literally you've just created the reality that you can't have the vibration that you want. So that is absolutely a false belief, but it feels true because you've told it to yourself so many times. And maybe you haven't used the word vibration before. Maybe you've used other words. Maybe you use words like, I'm never going to get what I want out of life. I'm never going to be happy. I'm never going to um, live the lifestyle that I want. I'm never going to be able to contribute to my favorite charity at the level that I want. Those are all false stories. And I'm curious why we tell ourselves those stories. Well, we tell ourselves those stories because we've been programmed to do so, right? We've been um, in a world full of contrast. And even though we cling very closely to a Jesus who we claim as our savior, we're not actually embodying that Christ spirit within us that tells us we can do all things. We can do all things, that we can impact the world at a huge level, that we can make a difference, that our mission is significant, that we are significant, that we ourselves are worthy of having the highest vibration possible. Because when I have a high vibration, I put it out there in the world and the world um, grow, you know, grows 
in accordance with that, right? I'm impacting the world at a positive level, so I hope, and so are you. So the higher your vibration, the more impact you're having, not only for yourself, it sure does feel a lot better to have a high vibration than not, um, but you're also impacting the world. So in this sense, your vibration, it is about you, but it's not only about you. And as Christians, as Jesus followers, we are really concerned with the world. I see it, I see it in all of you. I see it in this group all of the time. This group is always telling me, I, I desire to be a healer. I desire to have an impact on the world. But then sometimes when I ask people, well, what are you willing to do to get there? They tell me, well, I'll buy a crystal and that's it. That's not it. That's not going to get you where you want to be. And so this high vibration, this false belief that um, you can't have the vibration that you want is actually keeping you from having the vibration that you need and that you deserve in order to have the biggest impact. All right. So I see, uh, I see comments rolling in, which I love that you are in fact responsible, 100% responsible for your own vibration, which is beautiful. That's the place to start from. Okay, so if you are ready to get rid of that false belief and tell yourself a new story, build a new story, really enter into the vibrational space where you can grow and increase your vibration and not tell yourself the story that it's every, that all these um, you know, difficult circumstances keep you from having a high vibration, those are actually the lessons that you have to um, learn from in order to increase your vibration. Your lowered vibration is your choice and outside circumstances teach us how to have a high vibration. And that's the kind of contrast, you know, y'all have had a lot. I've had a lot of contrast come into my life. Uh, every, you know, every day, every day we have contrast come into our life and that contrast gives us the opportunity to say, what is it I need to change? What what belief do I need to let go of? What do I what pain do I need to experience right here in this moment in order to have the vibration that I want and so that I can get out there and do what I'm called to do in the world. And so I love teaching people how to do this. And I have people that I work with will write to me every day and they'll say, Oh my gosh, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, and I'm choosing joy. Right? And we have a lot of strategies for helping people choose joy and get rid of that old programming. And I love watching this transformation. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. And that's where that inner light comes from. That's when people walk up to you and they're like, wait, how do you do that thing? How do you have that thing? Wait, how do you, how do you maintain your calm, cool, coolness in the middle of, you know, difficult circumstances like the whole world is in right now. And so we have that, that choice and that opportunity to have that really strong core um, center that can vibrate highly out in the world. So if that is a step that you are wanting to take right now, I encourage you to reach out to me, send me a private message, tell me that you are ready, tell me that you are 100% responsible for your vibration, and we'll get that, we'll get that journey started for you. All right, everyone, we'll see you soon.